Three major cruise lines sail out of the port of Baltimore, and the deadly bridge collapse is going to have a huge impact on future cruises. Yeah, we've learned there are currently some ships sailing right now that are supposed to return to Baltimore in a few days. Consumer reporter Susan Hogan joins us uh, with one passenger story who says information from the crew has been limited. Well, the three major cruise lines include Royal Caribbean, Carnival, and Norwegian. American Cruise Lines and Pearl Seas Cruises is a smaller line that also operates some ships out of the port of Baltimore. Some ships are sailing right now, and News 4 is beginning to hear from some passengers who say information from the crew is scarce. Uh, we're coming back to Baltimore, we hope, April 4th. We're supposed to. That's where our car is. Cheryl Graves contacted us on day five of her 12-day cruise aboard Royal Caribbean's Vision of the Seas, this ship you see there. She says when passengers learned of the collapse, everyone was shocked and saddened. But as far as getting any information from the captain and crew regarding the ship's destination, she says nothing's been definitive. Um, you know, my husband has to be back at work. You know, we only plan to be... You know, to be back home by the 5th, you know, a dog sitter and all that at our house. And yeah, so, you know, we'll roll with whatever it is. Nobody can control emergencies like this, you know. Royal Caribbean tells News 4 it is closely monitoring the situation and their port logistics team is currently working on alternatives for vision of the seas, ongoing and upcoming sailings. Carnival says it is now rerouting its ship, Carnival Legend, which was supposed to arrive in Baltimore Sunday. It will now dock at Norfolk and guests will be provided complimentary bus service back to Baltimore. Carnival's next cruise scheduled for departure from Baltimore this Sunday will now depart from Newark. The cruise line says it is contacting passengers. Norwegian tells us it has no sailings scheduled until the fall. Just to give you an idea of how busy the Port of Baltimore is for cruising, according to the Cruise Line International Association, it's the 29th largest cruise port in the United States. In 2024, itineraries include 12 ships, making a total of 115 trips with 378,000 passengers scheduled to depart through the port. Now, we're told any adjustments to current cruise activity at the port will be announced as soon as they have the information available from the individual cruise lines.